Nick Teal, you're the director of operations. I'm the uh, operations manager, yeah. operations maintenance manager of this particular solar ranch. Okay, so tell us about this solar ranch. It's about to go online, and you're going to be you're going to be essentially running it. So yep. what um, what, we'll, what do you what do you need to do? Uh, we'll come online Thursday. And then what we're going to do is we're going to monitor. We have three circuits throughout this whole farm. So you have a certain amount of panels on this circuit one, circuit two, circuit three. We're going to bring circuit one on. And when we do that, we're going to go out. Well, from Corey, from the computer I showed you, we're going to monitor the panels, monitor the inverters, monitor the voltage, the current, set points, and just make sure everything's in correlation to be feeding the transmission line. So if there's an issue, um, Corey's going to break it that not, it's going to break it down and give us a, a starting a reference point to go start troubleshooting. So once we get the bugs worked out of it, essentially during O and M, we'll just be monitoring. If there's okay. an issue, we'll go find it, we'll okay. fix it, we'll learn from it, and try to prevent it on our next solar ranch or maybe retrofit this one so it doesn't have the same issues. So basically, tell us how the information is collected. There are sensors out in the solar field, right? Yes, there, there's random sensors all over. You have the the Met towers that I showed you on the bus. Um, measures wind speed, humidity, wind direction, a radiance of the sun, and what that does is it correlates with what we're actually producing. The, the Met Tower is saying there's this much sun power and the solar the panels are producing this much. Why are we producing this much and not this much? And when there's an issue then we gotta go figure that out. Are the panels broke? Is there an inverter broke? Um, is there something being grounded out? Circuitry? Okay. And so your, it's, it's your job to go out and fix it. <laughs> it is my job to go out and find yeah. it and fix it. Okay. Safely, yes. And the, you said earlier that the big concern is weather, like some, like a major windstorm or I'm lightning thinking, strikes. No, you know, this is this is this is a million dollar question. What's going to be the issue? I mean, there's a lot. As you see in the background, the sand dunes, the sand. Is that going to be an issue with the buildings with the inverters? That's why we house the inverters so the dust can't really get to them and to protect them. So. My big, my biggest fear is the weather, mm -hmm. but we're taking all the precautions with, with the Met towers and with our NCC National Control Center, telling us, calling us, saying there's bad weather moving in. We can come out and stow the panels ahead of time. They'll do it themselves. In case of emergency, um, we can stow them ourselves as well. Now, I, I think people might wonder if there's dust blowing around here because we're in the desert. Yep. Um, do you need to clean these panels? The I mean, is that your job? <laughs> is it my? Yes, it is my job. Okay. Um, Cleaning the panels. What's, what's cool about this area is at night these panels still flat and um, the dew, you know, coming in the morning, the dew will set on them or the snow will set on them. There's no sun so it's just going to sit. So in the morning when it goes in, when the, when the sun rises over that mountain in the morning, it's going to tilt. That dew and the snow will literally wash the panel. Oh nice. Okay. So I was at next door, there's a little solar farm and they haven't washed their panels in the last year. I went there and ran my finger across it last week and I couldn't pick up a speck of dust. So that's not a big concern? That's not a, that's not a concern of mine right now. All right. Now you said you worked in wind, you actually got a degree in wind. Uh, wind energy technology, yeah. Now how this is going to be new to you. Yep. How do you, how, how does this compare to wind? Uh, wind blows at night as the stress. Um, as Jan said, there's a lot of moving components in the wind turbine: hydraulics, electronics. Um, we have, they have inverters as well. So, um, so a little more laid back, I hope. Yes, um, I'm all. A lot of a lot of nights out working on turbines. I mean, our companies, I, I did. I they to they take our technician Durango information. Florida, like we, we, so we have an issue, we fix it. Engineers are always calling us or sending us emails. What did you do to fix it? We want to help you fix it, so we don't have to be called out all the time, making it more efficient. This is such new technology for us, so it's going to be a learning curve for Iridrola, me specifically, to figure out what's going on.